Australia's iconic Great Barrier Reef, the world's largest coral reef system, is so big you can see it from the moon. It is home to over 5,000 different species, now at threat. It's lost half of its coral in nearly 40 years. A local foundation is monitoring the reef to safeguard its well-being and reduce pollution. The research that my team does is to predict how do reefs respond to climate change and how can the management that people implement take us on a better path. Professor Mumby has been studying the resilience of the reef. He discovered that despite its great size, the reef was in fact very much connected with all its various parts. We found that if you can act to protect a relatively small and manageable number of reefs, the ability for that benefit to then translate to affect half of the Great Barrier Reef is considerable. The Foundation is a beneficiary of the Australian Government's 2050 Long-Term Sustainability Plan for protecting and managing the Great Barrier Reef. It's been missioned to restore some of the reef's islands. One of them is Lady Elliot Island, a highly protected green zone hosting more than 1,200 species of marine life. So one of the things that's happening, say, at Lady Elliot is a really bold restoration of the forest and the vegetation on the island. And we're only just beginning to understand the links between having a healthy vegetation on an island and, and how that benefits the fish and other things offshore. Ecotourism professionals are now sharing sustainable practices with visitors and younger generations. We must educate people. We owe it to people to help them to learn. The more that we educate, the more hope we've got of changing the problems we face on this planet today. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.